how can I make my website, my online business, my side hustle look more professional without spending a lot of money. I wanted to just come here and talk to you about an awesome question I got asked. Something that I so relate to, I think we all can relate to, and for better or worse, it's something that never goes away. This is a wonderful question. It never really ends because even when you do feel like you might want to spend money on your website and make it more professional, you don't even know where to begin in terms of what to spend money on. Uh, it can be really paralyzing because even if you don't have a website, we all have experienced this tension of asking whether or not you really need to spend money to make money or if that's just kind of a myth and the answer is sort of <laughs> so i'm going to dive into the three areas that i think you need to focus on the most when you're building a website these are the three areas either i focus on the most or i wish i would have because i can look back now and see that i needed to i'll also explain a little bit of what i think are the best free ways to do this and then some of my favorite paid options when you are ready to invest a little bit more First of all, the most important thing to pay attention to when you're starting out or really, you know, at any point is your website itself. It does not matter how good of a marketing strategy you have. It doesn't matter how many followers on social media you have. It doesn't even matter how many people come to your website. If they're not coming to something that isn't good and doesn't look well put together and doesn't look professional, they're gonna click away. So don't even worry about getting really into social media or getting really into advertisements or anything else at the beginning because if it's leading people to a place that they don't really wanna be and that you don't really want them to see, then the whole point is kind of moot. And it will, maybe it won't waste your money if you're not spending money on social media at first, but it'll waste your time. And as I've come to really believe, time is way more valuable than just your money. So I really want you to start by paying attention to your website. And if you kind of go to your website, now I did this for like eight months, so I should be lecturing myself really. If you kind of go to your website and you look at it and you're like, I hope people just don't notice that it's not that great then that's not the zone you wanna be living in and there is something that needs to change. So let's go over a couple totally free um, or very small investment ways to make your website more professional from the beginning. Number one, you want to have your own domain. So if you're using any free server and it includes your um, URL and then also a word like WordPress in it, you wanna get rid of that. That's not professional It people know it's free and it's just not how you make money online. Even if you're not trying to make money online, um, it looks very unprofessional and it looks inexpensive. That's just the harsh reality. So I highly recommend going to a platform where you're able to have your own domain, such as WordPress. Go to whatever one you want in order to have your own domain. But then that sort of leads to my second point of using WordPress. <laughs> WordPress really is the most professional platform out there. It is the mo it is the best way to monetize your website, which if you're running a website, no matter what the purpose, you might as well monetize it. Upgrade to WordPress if you're using anything else right now. My number three tip is to start capturing email leads from the beginning. Email leads, even if you feel like you don't have a whole lot going on, even if you feel like your site's in the very beginning, even if you feel like you only had you know, three people in your email list, so like I did for a while, and then no one cares, you know, those people on your list, they don't know that you only have three people. And so the sooner you can start growing and being consistent with how often you email them and the quality of content you email them, um, the more professional you're going to appear and the bigger your business is going to appear. Now, um, I'm not gonna go into the whole process of how to create that. If you do not know um, how to get email leads from your website, uh, please feel free to comment below or email me and I am happy to give you some resources on how to learn more about doing that. There should be plenty of ways on your website for people to sign up for your email list. Now, if you're using one of the less expensive email servers like MailChimp or MailerLite, MailerLite and MailChimp are free at the beginnings. So if you don't have one, definitely sign up with one of those. A big problem that you might come across is putting those forms from MailerLite and MailChimp onto your website and having them look professional. I really struggled with this. I was super embarrassed of my MailChimp forms. I tried to code them on my own. It didn't look very good and I just thought it looked horrible. And so I really tried to think of um, opt-in incentives that were so amazing. People wouldn't even tell that MailChimp looks so bad on my site. But a free way to make your um, subscribe forms very much on brand and match your website and look a lot more professional is the free WordPress plugin called Magic Action Box. 
It allows you to design your uh, subscription box with whatever color, shape, image, font, anything you could think of so that it really matches your website and it doesn't look like something that's just copied and pasted. You just download it to WordPress, install it, and then you copy and paste the form from MailChimp or MailerLite. Instead of copying and pasting it right onto your website, you copy and paste it into Magic Action Box which converts it into the design that you have created on Magic Action Box. Okay, my next tip is to make sure you're using an email address that has your website as the domain. So my website's urban20something. I do not want to have a website email that is urban20something at gmail.com. Now, when you purchase a domain very often um, with a server, you will get a free email. So for free, I could get leah at urban20something.com or contact at urban20something.com. Um, now, if you want to use Gmail's interface, to have those, I have a whole tutorial, free tutorial, on how to set it up so that you're using your own domain but still getting all the benefits of Gmail. But I do think it's about $5 a month. It's totally worth it because you have Google Drive and you have Google Hangouts and everything and um, I just really love Google. And so if you're like that, it's that's a very easy, not very expensive investment that can really make a difference in your email marketing, your communications, and just the professionalism of your website. Okay, and then next up, this is a little bit more on the expensive side, um, but I want to really bring it up because this is something that I also was hesitant to spend money on during the first several months of running my website because I just didn't want to spend that much money. And I was that stubborn little girl that said that I only wanted to spend money once I had it and accounted for a father. So I had this very responsible vein in me where I didn't want to spend money before I had already made it. Even though we'd all love for it to work that way, sometimes it does, but it doesn't always. Sometimes you do have to do the work up front, spend the money up front. So a big game changer for me, which I did about eight months into running my website, yes, eight months, was I bought a theme. So I no longer used a free WordPress theme and that made a huge difference in my website. My website was faster, it looked a lot cleaner, there was a lot more support so I could customize it and make it just look exactly the way I wanted to. There were a lot more places to get emails. It was so much more cohesive, easy to get around, user friendly, and just looked better and it looked more professional. Now themes aren't free, well the paid themes aren't free. I think that this theme was about 40 or $50. Um, but now looking back, I wish I, I am kicking myself for not, have done it, not having done it sooner. I saw my email list grow so much faster once I had just implemented this one theme. And I was just waiting. I waited for months to make an extra $40 or $50 to spend on it. It's completely ridiculous. If you are one of those people that has not paid for a theme yet and you have had your website for over six months, my advice is to just bite the bullet and go ahead and buy it because it really does make a difference and it will make its money back. Now before we move on to the next thing that I think is worth investing in after your website, I want to just throw out a couple of the bigger investments I've made on my website that have really paid off for me. So there's so many options out there and it can be debilitating trying to choose which one is right for you so I want to just share ones that have worked really well for me. The first one is Lead Pages. Lead Pages is a landing page software, and I use MailerLite's landing page software for free for probably a year. And it did it did fine for me. It did its job. It got me emails. Um, I was able to create sales pages. It took a lot of coding out for me, and that's what I needed at the time. Now, Lead Pages does really all of those same things. It's just a lot cleaner looking. It's a lot faster and it has a lot better analytics for you in terms of what's working and what's not and what you can change. It just looks more professional. Now that said, I had plenty of success using Just Mailer Lights landing pages for a while. Now that I do have the money from my online business to invest further, this is one thing that has really served me well and I'm really happy that I invested in. And then maybe eventually down the road, you could invest in someone to do a whole custom website for you. I haven't done that. I've been very happy with my paid theme, but hopefully one day I will. So first thing you should be focusing on, whether you're doing it free, on a budget, or ready to spend, it's your website. All that said, we all know that we could spend months and years on our website trying to perfect it and it never would be perfect. So at some point you do have to just move on and keep going. So I wanna share with you the two other areas that I think are really important to focus on if you wanna make your business look more professional. So after your website, the second thing to invest in 
to make this look more professional is yourself. You are your most valuable asset, especially if you're an entrepreneur or a blogger or a solopreneur or anything like that. Your education, your mindset, your motivation, your personal development, that's all gonna get you so much further than a Facebook ad. If you haven't really made yourself a strong barrier and a strong foundation for this business, it's gonna be really hard to keep it up, no matter how flashy of systems you might seem to have in place. The good thing is about this, there are a lot of free ways and then a lot of more expensive ways you can learn to invest in yourself, I'm going to share some of my favorite. Free or budget options are to use Audible. I started listening to books on Audible instead of reading them and I have gone through books like four times as fast as I used to. If you drive or if you commute or take a bus or anything to work, I definitely consider Audible and listening to it in time and a half and it's crazy the books you can get in. Listen to books that help with your weakness, whether your weakness is um, budgeting or marketing or um, at SEO, something that I, I love and that I know I'm going to be better as an entrepreneur if I think more about and if I'm feeding my mind with constantly. Another thing is to just make non-negotiable certain things in your lifestyle. What do you need to do that you cannot negotiate to be the best version of yourself so that you can be the best entrepreneur? How many hours do you need to sleep? How um, much do you need to exercise? How much time do you need off? How much money do you need to make? You know, really putting yourself first is not selfish in this situation. The integrity of your business relies on it. Other things you can do are to take uh, courses on the website Udemy, Udemy um, which often has sales for courses that are only like 10 or $20. So if you're trying to further your education in web development, marketing, social media, uh, that's a great place to go on a budget. And then of course, just absorbing podcasts and books wherever you can. Now some bigger investments when you're ready are to buy e-courses to um, work with a coach. You could um, invest in a mastermind, anything like that. And so the idea here is to really just make sure that you're doing the best you can, learning the most you can, and being the best you can because you are the foundation of your business. It doesn't matter how pretty of pictures you have or how good your sales page is or how much you email if you are not there to hold up and be the glue that holds it all together. Okay, moving on to the third thing that I think you should pay attention to to make your business more professional, it is your marketing. It's one of those things where you might feel like, oh, well, if I have a really good product or service, then it will sell itself. That doesn't happen. It's just not how it works. We would like it to, but it doesn't, especially not at the beginning. If you are one of those people, like most entrepreneurs that be went to be an entrepreneur, because you thought of a good idea or you wanted to solve a problem or you wanted to impact people or you wanted to get your mission out there um, you know whatever really drove you to work this work in the first place probably marketing not high on your list it's probably not why you started doing this and a lot of entrepreneurs really hate the marketing part of it the sad part is that they end up stopping because they they, they don't want to do it or they can't do it if you really hate it that much you can always outsource it but I suggest embracing it because it is what will help get you the momentum that you need from the get-go so that you feel like you're making progress and you feel like your words getting out there and you feel like your mission is coming to fruition some free ways to start with marketing are to do some free automation tools on social media Social media can be extremely powerful. It's also extremely time consuming. Luckily, there are plenty of free ways that you can automate social media throughout the week and throughout the um, month. So for Twitter, you can sign up with a free account for um, a software called Buffer, which will uh, automate tweets for you throughout the day or throughout the week, depending on how many you want to tweet. For Instagram, I use a free app called Unum. It will help you uh, schedule your Instagram photos and see them before you even tweet or, um, post them. Uh, for Pinterest, just use Pinterest. Pinterest is super amazing and powerful. And if you want to make sure you have professional looking pins, then use the free graphic design software called Canva, canva.com. And you can create beautiful, awesome looking pins that um, will make your business look professional and like you created them on Photoshop. When you are ready to invest in marketing, the most powerful strategies I've seen have been Board Booster on Pinterest and Facebook ads and investing in my own professional photography so that my Instagram and my website look better. And I also just wanna add back to what will make your website look more professional and your Instagram is professional photos. And this does not mean they all have to be a view. This took me a long time. I literally would spend, I'd get up really early in the morning when I first started my website and I would go to all these different places around Manhattan and take pictures 
and then use them for Pinterest and Instagram because I thought that everything on my website had to be my own photography. <laughs> and that was a huge waste of time. And of course I can't take as good of pictures of New York as other people can. So um, if you want professional pictures uh, and you don't have any on your own, then you can use the website called Pixabay where you can get free professional photos, download them and use them wherever you like. To clarify and to recap, we all struggle to know when and where to invest on our online business when wanting to make it look more professional. But of course, making sure that we look, make it look as professional as possible given our current financial situation is super important. So the three areas I recommend really focusing on and starting in order are first off your website. You wanna make sure once you have people coming, people showing up, people clicking over to your business, um, that you're making the best impression you can. And second of all, you want to invest in yourself. This is not going to work if you can't do the work and if you can't really stay present and happy during it. I promise. And you should feel like you're spoiling yourself a little. You deserve it. You really do. And then third, go ahead and invest in that social media and in that marketing and um, all of the leads and everything and the followers and the comments you get from all of that will, will experience you and your website in exactly the way you want because you've already invested the time and money into your website and yourself to make it look professional no matter where you are in business at this time. So I hope this was helpful. If you ever have another question that you'd like to submit, please feel free to email me or comment below and I'd love to get back to you.